you. Ah, Haya, Griva, Singdoma, and Genze. That's pretty easy. All these three chakras can be used for the same purpose, the exact same purpose. The difference is that higher griva and singdongma can be used both as a yidam and a dharma protector. Higher griva has three faces, um, yes, three faces, six arms and eight legs, red, ferocious in color, with three neighing horse heads on top. Very ferocious. That is, higher griva is the form that Guru Rumchi used and accomplished in a retreat before he came to Tibet in order to subdue the very powerful spirits, very powerful. The oracle of Tibet Nichung was subdued by higher griva practice. So higher griva is a direct emanation of Amitabha Buddha, and it's very powerful in purifying. Higher griva practice is very powerful in protecting you from obstacles, diseases, interruptions, and problems that arise specifically from Naga spirits or stake spirits. Any type of spirits associated with the water or Naga beings that you've offended, you know, you, on the way home, you, you, you pee peed on some tree and there was a Naga there you peed on, and guess what, next day you got skin problems and you get bad dreams of snakes and all that. High grief is very, very powerful for counteracting any kind of problems that arise from snake spirits, snakes, and um, his practice is very, very powerful for subjugating very ferocious places, ferocious, dangerous places, places that the environment is dangerous, haunted, scary, bad energy. He's very powerful for subduing that. But on an inner level, he is very powerful if we do his sadhana and practice for destroying anger. Very powerful, absorbing and destroying anger. We finished higher degree of practice, we're all right. And for obstructions to life, life, you know, if we have some obstacles of life that, you know, very dangerous where we can die, if we do higher grief or practice, it will stop it. Why life is precious, once it's gone, it's gone. That's it. So higher grief or practice is very powerful in stopping obstacles to life, life-threatening situations, life-threatening diseases. Cancer, diseases such as cancer and stuff are believed to be caused by Nagas or related to Nagas. And cancer diseases are very much helped by higher grief or practice. Very, very powerful, this mantra. This one can do without initiation. It has a sadhana and a practice also. And so when we do high grievous practice, it's very, very powerful for purifying and protecting us from um, snake spirits, nagas, which is very common. And sudden diseases, fits, epileptic, epileptic fits that are caused by spirits, not natural causes. And also, um, very, very powerful, subjugating the environment, subjugating the place, subjugating the area. Very, very powerful. And also, um, in controlling deities. Deities not in light nature, worldly deities. Higher Griva is very powerful for controlling them. So an accomplished Higher Griva Siddha, or one who meditates on Higher Griva and practices it, they'll be very powerful in controlling spirits, subduing them, and ordering them to do what they want. I mean, of course, good things, stopping them and doing negative things. So wearing a higher griva chakra has that kind of effect. Very, very powerful, very nice. And higher griva is a direct emanation of Amitabha Buddha. Okay?